Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today we got a very special day. Today's gonna be something very awesome, very cool. You guys are gonna enjoy this. I'm going to lock this down and show you what we got. So, if you have ever owned a Unify Pro or any other VTX that is MMCX, you might have encountered something along the lines of this. Now, if this has happened to you, then you know that it sucks. You gotta pretty much throw away the VTX. There's nothing you can do after this, you know? You have ripped off the connector, and we're not talking about the actual deal, because look, see here how this is connected? You can pull this off. We're not talking about ripping this off. We're talking about ripping this off. Now what? Now what am I supposed to do? I'm in big trouble. Well, today I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix this. And not only can you fix this, but you can also fix other ones. If you've got one that has a UFL connector, or also known as an IPEX or IPEX, if you have this connector as well, this same path of fixing will work for you too. Also, if you are hardcore, <laughs> like some of us are, and you're always ripping off your antennas or breaking your connectors, this is actually a really good way to go ahead and get your antenna something like this. This one's a little bit chewed up. But you take your antenna like this and I'm gonna show you how to hard wire this. And then what's gonna happen is you'll never rip that off again. So stay tuned. All right, pilot, so you went ahead and you ripped off your connector and you got yourself in big trouble. Uh, you're not sure what you're going to do. The only option at this point is to just go ahead and throw away the VTX and order another one because we do that all the time. Well, today and with this video here on in the future, that's no longer going to have to happen. You are going to be able to repair it and you are going to rip it off and you're going to go, oh well, I'm going to go home and I'm going to throw this on the bench and I'm going to get this fixed, get it back up and working. And then you won't have to deal with that anymore. And I'm going to tell you guys about one more thing. If you guys got an antenna like this one, what you can do is you can use this to your advantage. You can go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to install this today. But you'll be able to put this on and then you'll have it pretty much hardwired. You don't have to worry about connectors. When somebody says, what connector are you running? You say, Phew, I ain't running one. And pretty much if you hit something, I mean, it's going to be so solid, you ain't going to be able to rip it off. So you're going to just be flying and ripping and crashing. It ain't going to really matter. You're going to break something else on your quad because your VTX antenna ain't going to break again. All right, pilot. So real quick, I do want to go over the tools that you're going to need. You are going to need a soldering iron if you have one. Get it, get it heating up because you're going to need it. And then also you're going to need a blade. Definitely have a blade ready to go because you're going to need a blade. Uh, not sure yet where this is going to take us, so you might need a little bit of electrical tape. So be prepared for that. And let's go ahead and dive in. Other than that, we're going to flip this guy over. I'm going to use this flat surface. Uh, you guys are welcome to use whatever makes you comfortable. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and cut this off. And that's going to consist of peeling this tip. So I'm going to go ahead and just slice that right off, okay? This is the old UFL connector. I'm not going to need it. You are not going to need it. So get rid of that. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut through the top layer only. Don't go crazy. Just cut enough so that we have something to grab with. So go ahead and slice and spin. Slice and spin. And get all the way around and you should be able to just pull that right off did you see that so now that that is off we need to get down to the center wire so I'm going to keep cutting this part can be very very meticulous so take your time it is not a rush and it is not a race. So 
see that we've gotten rid of all the surrounding metal so all we now have is our center all right guys so we now have this part just about ready the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to get this white cover off it's like a clear silicone cover we want to go ahead and get that off so I'm gonna do that now there we go look at that that went beautifully so there we go we now have our middle the very very next thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to get rid of the top layer only so your first half should be just the center antenna and then the remaining half is going to be the outside mesh wires which is pretty much just a ground but right now we need it it's important we're going to get it let's go all right it's not ready cut a little bit deeper there it is can you see that all right that's a beauty right there all right so we are almost there next thing is to go ahead and get this wire pushed off don't cut them do not cut them they are braided together so you can use your knife and get in there and kind of separate them you want to push half to one side and half to the other side that's our goal see how they're braided so go ahead and divide them up just like that oh we lost a couple that's all right no need to panic all right and then once you do divided them up you should look like this you should look like your antenna is having a bad hair day and then you're going to grab it and we want to take these and we're going to give them a little twisty twist huh wow okay so that's one side and oh be easy on that and that is the other side so your antenna should now look like this okay so now is this a hundred percent perfect you know I, I don't know we'll find out when it's time if we have to modify it we will uh, this may be too long no big deal we can always cut it here and redo this part you know we can always modify we might not have enough ground if we don't we, we cut back a little bit further and get a little bit more I mean, it's really no big deal so we're gonna go ahead and get to that part now that it's a tad bit too long I think you guys would agree you can see that right here it's a little bit too long we want it to be probably more like where it's starting there so let's go ahead and fix that We're still a tad, we're, we're, we're perfect on where we've peeled, but our tip, our center is a little bit too long. So we're going to trim a tiny bit off of that. Let's go ahead and do that now. And don't take too much because you can always take more, but you can't put some back on. All right. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that's probably dang close to perfect. So, 
let's go ahead and get this guy ready now the next step is get your solder and your iron and go ahead and prep these See that? Let's take a look at the middle. Alright, so yours should look like that. See if I can get you guys a little bit closer. Alright, there we go. Looking good. Now, let's go ahead and tin our antenna. Okay, not sure. It looks like that fell out of camera view, but that's all right. You guys know how to tin a wire. Now, let's lock our middle down first because that is the most important. All right, hopefully you guys saw that. And now we will get this turned up. Okay. So one side is on. Now let's go ahead and get the second side on. All right, we're going to grab a little bit of solder, fix the left side. All right. I don't know that that could have went any better. Wow, that's phenomenal. All right, guys, we are looking really, really good. I'm hoping you guys saw all of that and I was able to get it all into view. Let me show you what it looks like. There you go. Brand new. Now I've got a pigtail. I mean, this right here, I can't even budget. There ain't there ain't you ain't ripping this back off. It's just it's just not happening. So the idea is if you take an antenna and cut it off and do this exact same thing or maybe even antenna like this, you know, or shoot, you can feel free to cut an antenna like this too. You can easily open up this heat shrink and do the exact same thing and get this placed on there. There is absolutely nothing different except there's a little bit more coax inside. So I even believe it makes it even easier to work with. But the bigger, the bigger the antenna or the thicker, you know, the more, more wire you're going to have, a little bit harder it can be to deal with. So, all right, now, um, 
We're going to do one last final touch to this, but it is not required and not necessary. I am going to do it just because why not. And let me show you guys that step. So, what it is, is it is silicone modified conformal coating. And we're going to take a little bit of that. And we are going to go ahead and get that covered. All right. And let's do a little bit more. Now, the way conformal coating is, is it takes a little bit of time to dry. So you can't just slap it and go. So what I do is I cake it on fairly heavy and then I will give it time to dry and then after it's dry I will go ahead and put one more coat. So I don't think that I have to do that with you guys. You guys know how to do the second coat. You saw the first coat and that right there gives you a brand new VTX that is working great antenna is connected stronger than it's ever been connected you've got any adapter that you want I mean it doesn't matter what you put on you saw I just put on SMA put on whatever makes you happy and if you need less space because you're always having too much antenna hanging out the back or whatever feel free to cut it shorter and shorter you don't want to go too short because if you start right here and then you mess up and you mess up and you mess up you know you find yourself in trouble so don't start too short but you can go ahead and start at a shorter length if it makes you feel better whatever works for you I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one